Ashley here. Happy Tuesday. Um, today is a gorgeous day. I'm outside because I, you can tell I have some serious sinus drainage going on and the heat helps keep everything moving. So, I went to Books A Million today to get a book that I was really waiting for. I was super excited for it to come out and they were out at Barnes and Noble. So I went to Books A Million and they did have a copy and they reserved it for me and I went and picked it up. Um, also, I want to do a review of books um, that I like personally that I've randomly picked up because I like the synopsis um, on the back of the book or on the inside of the book jacket. Um, I love to read. I love to absorb books in any format they come in, whether it's a physical book, an ebook, or audible. Personally, in my life, um, it's a little more made for audible. I can listen while I'm working, while I'm washing dishes, or you know, whatever I'm doing. I don't have to stop what I'm doing and sit down and read because a lot of times when I read, I get so absorbed in reading that I don't do anything else. So, um, a lot of the books that I've read. Or experienced um, are on Audible, um, but I do have a ridiculous collection of books that I've bought, have been given to me, that I've had for years and years and years. But um, I did acquire three new ones today from Book Civilian. The first one, um, I believe, is called Magonia. Um, it is by Maria Davinov. Headley, I do not know how to say her name and I couldn't find on the interwebs how to pronounce it. But this is the cover. It totally kind of matches my tattoo. Yeah, except this is a quilt. That's just a feather. But this is, yeah, I really like the synopsis of this. It was in the bargain bin. Um, it has some interesting little fits that I think would be really cool. And there's even a little comment from Neil Gaiman. So I think that's really cool. So I like that one. And this author is also apparently a Nebula Award winner. So that's cool. Um, and then the second one I got that was also in the market bin is called The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. And I may be late to the game on this. Like there's several that I've found in the market bin that I'm just late to the game. And it's just not a book like it would have been on my radar, but somehow I missed it. But this is the second one. And it's Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. It sounded really interesting too. Um, read the synopsis and was like, okay, like that's a good one. And it was like $4. And I'm like, dogs, thank you. But the main book that I wanted, that I've been waiting for, that I've been seeing on Twitter, advertised um, character art, cover art, um, snippets that kind of give you insight into like the author's like motivation for writing this book and everything is um we hunt the flame i've been waiting and waiting for this book i'm so excited and it's by hafsa faisal and i hope i said her name right um but this is a book that i've been waiting for for a really long time there's gorgeous um character art on her twitter page so you should go and follow her on twitter um and instagram or all her social media just go find her because she's very funny and awkward um but there's like the inside like look at this look at the the beauty of this book look at that it's a detail on the beginnings of the chapters there's the title page is really pretty i guess oh oh there's a map i love books with maps they made me so happy I love books with maps. Um, but yeah, there's, um, just go follow her. I follow all these authors. I'm going to look them all up on their social media and, um, go find them. But I'm super excited to read all of these, even though my, um, to read list is getting longer and longer, um, by the day, really, if I'm honest. Uh, I just love stories. So I'm actually on my webpage, I think. I don't know, I may just leave it on YouTube. I cannot decide. I'll make that decision later. But I want, I'm going to start reviewing books that I've enjoyed because I feel like as from a 
writer and a reader perspective, like kind of that melded together. Um, I feel like there are so many books out there that don't get the kudos and clout that they deserve. Uh, one of the books that I recently listened to on um, Audible was a book called Flotsam. And it's actually by uh, one of the leaders of a podcast that I like, um, which is called the Hybrid Author Podcast. And that book is really great. I really enjoyed it. Um, the author's name is RJ Theodore. Um, you can look her up on Instagram, also her podcast, which is really helpful for me as a hybrid author, though I have not sent a single query letter. I am not, I feel I'm not to that point. So um, I feel like I need to get a little more, a few more edited pages <laughs> under my belt first. But um, I'm actually going to start reading We Hunt the Flame today uh, because I already got my writing uh, done that I wanted to complete today for uh, my current project, which is called Wakeful. Um, I'm going to start reading this. I'm probably going to be outside a little bit longer, although I will have to change because I'm burning up because it's hot out here, but I need the heat right now. But um, I am rambling. Welcome to me. Um, but yeah, these three books, check them out. We Hunt the Flame. Check it out. And then The Last Magician, also another one that sounded very interesting. And hope I'm saying this right, Magonia. Um, all three sound very interesting. Um, I will tell you, this is apparently book one of these. If you are not about to get to a series, don't start it, because I've made that mistake repeatedly. Start a series, and then I'm like, must have the rest of it. So... Um, yeah, check all these out, check out these authors, follow their pages, follow me. I am, um, Hopesikens on Instagram. Um, I'll try to put a link. I don't know if that will work. Um, and that will lead you to my website where all my other social media should be plugged there. So... That is my Books A Million book haul. You can enjoy those authors and those books. Um, they I found these at Books A Million. I'm sure they have them online. Um, Barnes & Noble was out of We Hunt the Flame, though. I will say that. Um, but if you'd like to check out uh, my writing, you can visit my website, which is ahrami.wixsite.com. And there you will find links to my available works on Amazon, as well as some sample reading. And you can also connect with me there um, via social media and email. Hope you give these books a read. Hope you enjoy them. Have a wonderful Tuesday.